On a dumbbell chest press, you're normally going to start with your dumbbells kind of sitting on the floor in front of your bench here, at the base of the bench, obviously. Uh, to initiate that movement, we're going to stand up, we're going to bring our dumbbells up to our knees, and kind of sit down on our bench, looking straight ahead. Normally, there will be a mirror there that you can look into. Um, there's a couple ways to start out. When you're first beginning and the weights aren't super heavy, you can just kind of rock back and bring those dumbbells up to your chest here. As you get heavier, there's different techniques for that, where if these are super heavy dumbbells, I might just rock back and keep my knees bent to bring those dumbbells up into a place at the top where it's easier to initiate my movement here. Again, again lightweights, we don't need to overthink that too much. In this back position, or this bottom position that we're starting out in, the key here is that we want our feet firmly planted on the ground, and we're going to pinch our shoulder blades together on the bench to kind of maintain this good tension here, which is giving us a strong base of support that we can then do our press off of. So we're in a bottom position, shoulder blades are tight, feet are flat, I'm kind of squeezing my butt, making sure my whole body's rigid and tight, and all I'm going to do is drive those dumbbells straight up towards the ceiling. Hand position, you could do a couple different things. If your program calls for a neutral grip or an NG, that just means that your palms are going to be facing each other right here. For some people, this is a little bit easier on the shoulders. Um, for others, my, like, like myself, it doesn't particularly make a difference. I, I don't notice any, uh, any particular challenge with a, a pronated grip here. But in any case, controlling them back down to your sides, not dropping down here where the, the tension is just kind of pulling on your joint and rocking your shoulders forward, stopping a little bit above that, right kind of in line with your chest, maintaining the tension in our back, driving straight back up towards the ceiling. Now, what you'll see here at the top, the last thing I want to point out is that I don't drive through with my shoulders like this because what that does is that takes away that strong base of support that we built when we pinched our shoulder blades together. So keeping the shoulder blades locked down and back, we, we let's say put your shoulder blades in your back pockets. That's how you want to think about it. They're together and then down towards my butt. I come down, still tight, driving those dumbbells straight back up off. And then whenever you're finished, uh, again, lightweights, you can just kind of come down as it gets heavier. I like to bring the knees up, rest these on the thighs, let it pull you back down to the ground and you can put them back on the floor. That is a flat dumbbell chest press.